welcome to Cooking Curves Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the REST Country API to get information about countries. So, if I start typing, let's say, Canada, it gives me some information about Canada. And also, it thinks Antarctica is a country. So, if I start typing Antarctica, it says that the currency is the Australian dollar, which is, I don't know. But, I found out about Antarctica's TLD. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Alright, so to get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And, you're going to need to have the link to jQuery copy because that's how we're going to make the request to the endpoint. So, start by making a doctor tag exclamation mark doc type HTML nice now make a script tag script src equals and in quotes paste in the link to jQuery there it is now close quotes and close the script tag all right now we're gonna make an input Input ID and give it an ID equals in quotes. I'm going to call mine query. query. Close quotes and give it an on key up event. So on key up equals open quotes get country. That's the, what we're going to call the function. If you want to call the function something else, don't type get country, type something else. Open parentheses, document dot get element with a capital E, the first E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open single quotes, or double quotes if you were using single quotes before, query, close single quotes or double quotes, close parentheses, dot value, and close parentheses again, and close double quotes or single quotes if that's what you were using. No need to close the input tag because it's an input tag and input tags are weird. Now make a div. Div ID equals open quotes. I'm just going to call it output because, well, that's where we're going to put the output. Close quotes, obviously. And just close up the dig tag. You don't have to put anything inside it. Slash div. All right, now open a script tag. This is where the fun happens. Function to make a function. Get country because that's what we called. That's what we called the function up here. Open parentheses. Q. Close parentheses. Open curly braces and inside it. Dollar sign. Dot ajax. To make a request. Open parentheses. Open curly braces. On the next line. URL. Colon. Open quotes, https, colon, slash, slash, rest countries, dot eu, slash, rest, slash, v2, slash, name, because we're going to be searching by name, slash, and close quotes, plus q. And I will put a link to this in the description, so you can just paste it in if that's what you want to do comma on the next line success colon function open parentheses res that's what we're going to call the result open curly braces document dot get element with a capital e by with a capital b id with a capital i open parentheses open quotes output close quotes close parentheses dot inner HTML with capital H, T, M, and L equals open quotes H1 inside of these less than and greater than signs close quotes plus res open square brackets zero close square brackets dot name so, so you get the country's name plus open quotes 
slash h1 to close the h1 tag. br to create a line break and open an image tag. img src equals open single quotes or just other quotes, not the quotes that you already had open, and quotes close the ones that you did have open, plus res, open square brackets, zero, close square brackets, dot flag, plus open quotes, close single quotes, space width equals, open single quotes again, 500, because that's how wide we want it to be, and slash and greater than sign to end that image tag. Now br p and type region colon space close quotes plus res open square brackets zero dot region region plus open quotes br population colon space close quotes plus res open square brackets zero close square brackets dot you guessed it population plus close quotes br currency colon space close quotes plus res open square brackets zero dot currencies open square brackets zero dot name plus open quotes br close quotes currency code oh yeah don't close those quotes colon space close quotes plus res open square brackets zero close square brackets dot currencies open square brackets zero dot code plus open quotes again br currency symbol colon space close quotes plus res open square brackets zero close square brackets dot currencies dot currencies open square brackets zero close square brackets dot symbol plus open quotes br tld for top level domain colon space close quotes plus res open square brackets zero close square brackets dot top level with a capital L the first L domain with a capital T open square brackets zero close square brackets plus open quotes and close the P tag forward slash P close quotes semicolon all right now we can close the curly braces because that's all we need to do with the results. Close the other curly braces, close the parentheses, and close the very first curly braces. And finally, close the script tag. All right, Whew, that was a lot. So save that file. Let's call it rest countries. HTML. Save. Pop open Firefox or whatever browser you prefer to use. But Firefox is the best one, so you should prefer to use that one. Now drag the file into your browser. 
and let's type in the name of the country. Let's do France. And here we go. France, that's the name of the country. There's the flag. Region is Europe. Population is a big number. Currency is euros. Currency code EUR. Symbol is the euro symbol. And the top level domain is .fr. So, as you can see, it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember, mouthwash.